Hello, I'm Andrew Rubino, and welcome to Hang With Sports Tonight. This is our very first show, live from HCAM Studios in Hingham, Massachusetts. The spring sports season at Hingham High School is just underway, and it started with a bang, March 28th, up at Cronin Field behind Town Hall. It was a great game. The Harborman baseball team took on Tenoji High School from Japan. It was a great week with the guys from Japan visiting Hingham High School, but it was an even more interesting game. Let's see how it unfolded. On Friday, March 29th, the Hingham High School baseball team took on Japanese opponents visiting from Tenoshi. The exhibition game was the culmination of a week-long visit to Hingham by Tenoshi players. And they also had the chance to practice with the Hingham team all week. A great experience for both sides. Clearly, you can tell by the way both teams uh, are acting now. It was a great week. The kids really enjoyed uh, the experience, both sides, and uh, practicing them, practicing a little bit with them while playing them today. You know, it's, it's just a great, great thing, something you can't get anyplace else. Uh, it was awesome. They, uh, it was a little tough sometimes with the language barrier. They only knew a few words, but uh, baseball is the same in every country, so it was awesome. Yeah, for sure. We really got to, like, see, like, if they were any different than us. And they had some different styles, but it was really, like, interesting. And it just really, I feel like both teams fed off the energy of each other. What was your experience like in America this week? So many unexpected things, all new things that you know he never experienced in Japan. So there was like a lot of surprises, but he feels like uh, you know he's like it's just a view of just a, a general view of everything has expanded. You know? yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed your experience this week. Great game today, and uh, glad you had fun. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The game provided a unique situation for both teams and the Hingham players. It was exciting. They, they're really good. That kid had two bombs. That kid with those two homers, that kid was really good. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. They're, really, they're a really good team. I'm sure they do really well back in Japan, but, uh, but yeah. You know, it's our first outing of the year. Really, even being out here, it's March 28th or whatever. So there wasn't a lot of strategy for us. The strategy was get your feet wet, throw some strikes, get some at bats, and hopefully they're not so good or so much in midseason form that they kick our butts. Oh, it was a bunch of fun. And I, I couldn't, have, I couldn't have wrote a better script to it. It was, I, it was really like, I wasn't expecting it for, to be this like exciting. Like, and, that, and the ceremonies at the end were great. Many excited fans are already wondering, what about next year? You know, we're already talking, how do we do this again? Or what happens next year? Or when are we going there? Or, and I'd love to have them back very challenging. I'd like to have them back more in the middle of the baseball season and, um, and play them, because that would be awesome. All, all talks are preliminary. I mean, there's a lot to work out. If we went, you know, when would you go? Uh, would it definitely be in baseball season? Uh, would the MIAA allow it? You know, there's a lot of moving parts here. Uh, clearly, I'd say everyone is um, intoxicated with what happened. So uh, I'd like to see something happen again. I'd love to have them here during April school vacation and have them in like a four-team tournament because there's a lot more there baseball-wise for both sides to sort of uh, explore. Hingham High School opens their varsity season on April 11th against Quincy. What an awesome experience for both teams. Talking with the players at school that week really showed how excited everyone was for the game, but it definitely lived up to the hype. Hingham started their season against Plymouth North, down in Plymouth North, with a loss 7-3. Next Friday, they will go at Quincy and start their season, and then they have a three-game homestand against Duxbury, Women Hanson, and Nossett Regional High. Now on to lacrosse. Lacrosse will be a really interesting year with a lot of talent on the team. They just played this week against Norwell to start their season, and they are also playing uh, next for... Let's look at the highlights from the Norwell game. The game was 10-5 win over Norwell. Junior Jackson Tilly had five saves in the first half, and senior Mackhelm also had seven saves in the second half, and they split duty in the net. Cam Payne, who's a senior, won 12 of the 14 faceoffs for Hingham, and Will Vasquez also had 10 ground balls. The game had a lot of goals for Hingham, with 10 in all. 
Caleb Brody led the team with three goals, as well as Jake Brody, Colin Flibbett, Mark O'Rourke all chipping in two, and Matt Russo had one goal. Let's look at the seniors for Hingham this year. You have Jack Ulrich, who is a defenseman who will be attending University of Pennsylvania next year as a defenseman player for them. You also have Matt G. Russo, who is committed to Union, and Pat Burke, who is an outstanding midfielder for the Harmon. Uh, Caleb Brody, as well, will be playing this year, and he has committed to un the University of Maryland. Matt Kellum will also split time with Jackson Tilly and Nett this year. Let's look at some of the juniors as well. Will Vasquez is a midi for the Harmon and look to get some good play out of him. Colin Flibbett is also a major part of the team and we will look for and the coach Todd will look for big for big things from him. Alex Giblin is an attackman and should contribute to the Harmon this year. And Jackson Tilly, the starting goalie, should have a good year for the Harmon as well. The, the team is also filled with many underclassmen. Andrew Staley is a defenseman and will work hard this year. Marco Rourke, Mark Taccio, and Jake Brody will all contribute to the team as well. Jake and Mark being attackmen and Mark being a midfielder. Billy McNally rounds it out as a midi, as well as uh, John Gillick playing long stick midi as a defenseman. With the lack schedule coming up, we'll have lots of games. There's a big one Friday night against their rival Needham. Needham was a very good team, and last year they went 17-3. Uh, last year's game between Hingham and Needham ended in a 7-6 Needham win, and I expect the same this year, a very close, tight-knit game. So if you're not doing anything tomorrow night, I suggest going out and watching the game. Um, let's see. Also, um, Coach Todd commented on the game, and he said that uh, it was a typical first game, but uh, both Norwell and Hingham made some mistakes, and Coach Todd's looking forward to um, Friday's game to see their improvements. Now, an update on boys' tennis. The boys' tennis had three matches for the singles. Uh, Reese Linton and Sam Kremholtz both had losses, with Joe Beareth uh, having the only win. In the doubles, uh, Bennett Lemansky and Peter Bixby had a win, and sophomore standouts Cole Stansberry and Pete Ross both had a win in their doubles match. That's all for today, folks. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week.